This is your bell work. That's not a bell work. Ain't no mathematical question or nothing. Oh, okay. Hey, I can actually do this problem. <laughs> <laughs>
kind of got to think outside of the box about some descriptive words. Do what? We have to put a whole thing up. Yeah. Now you're wondering why you didn't think of watching TV or sports. That's okay. We need a lot more than four. People do what? Yeah. No feelings? See, now we got to think about sleeping. Uh, what is it? Is it E E L or E L L? E E L. E E L. No stress. No stress. I'm trying to change it just to one word things. It's a dream. Dream? What else? That could be small. Do what? Ignore people. Yeah, I'm gonna not spell this one out. Spell it. Ignore. I I I I I I no, e. That's what it said. That's right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 We're going to pick four of those. <laughs> Do what? We could have done twist four. We could have, but I want to pick. Let's pick. Yeah, I kind of want to reduce it down to a one word statement. So let's go. Stressless, dreaming, relaxing is a good one, and uh, pick one more. And if it's two words, we can make it one. What did you say? Can we reduce that to one word? Energize. Okay. Good. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to look at these four items. Energized, relaxing, stressless, and dreaming. On your paper. You're going to create kind of like a T. A tea table kind of thing. Or it's a quadrant. Do what? Um Yeah, you're you're gonna want enough room to maybe write a sentence or two in here. And in the top of each one, kind of where I put this blue line, we're going to put these four words. Okay, I'm going to split you into a group of three, and then I'm going to give you more directions, okay? So let's go, just you three right here. You three, you three, you three. Let's go, you three, and then you three, okay? You might want to move your, just move, go ahead and move your desk so you can face each other, um, so you can discuss some of this stuff. 
I just want to be able to see you. Okay, like I said, you're going to have a couple sentences in each one of these quadrants. Now, the sentence is going to be in the same form, and let me show you the form. It's going to go, properties of exponents is like, because, okay? So, properties of exponents is like dreaming, because, and then you got to say why. Okay? So you have to relate all four of these to the properties of exponents we just talked about, and you got to say why. Now, is there one right answer? No, there is not. Do I have the answers? No, I do not, because we just made all this stuff up, right? Relate those to the properties of exponents. As a group, talk about it, and I want maybe each one of you come up with one. You pick the best one to write on your paper, okay? I'll give you five, ten minutes, and then we will share. And then I'll show you some examples, okay? All right, get going. Listen, let's share some of these. We've got teamwork first, so somebody share their sentence and read it to me like I prompted you. Properties of exponents is like teamwork because... Go ahead, John. All right. Properties of exponents are like teamwork because they work together with base numbers. Okay, we have to work together with base numbers, right? My base numbers need to be the same. Uh, what else? Go ahead. Properties of exponents is like... Uh, competition? No, we're still on teamwork. Oh, then don't call on me. No, go ahead. Read your teamwork one. <laughs> oh, yeah, go ahead. That one's bad. So, there, just go ahead. Brandon, you read it. <laughs> Which one? Teamwork. Pro properties of exponent is like teamwork because you have to solve. Because you have to solve. <laughs> that was Keats. <laughs> I got okay. it. All right. All right. All right. I just went along with it. Somebody so, else follow that answer. one up. You're right. There is no wrong answer. That was wrong. <laughs> Somebody else. Tough act to follow. Let's go. I need two more. Um, two more for teamwork. What you got? Uh, properties of exponents is like teamwork because they have to all agree on a number. Okay, they, yeah, good. One more. I'll start calling on you. David, what you got? Properties of exponents because if they're the same number, then they can work together. Say that one more time. I mean, properties of exponent is like teamwork because if they're the same, then they can work together. Okay, good. Uh, competition. Properties of exponents is like competition because why? I want four. Yeah. Hey, let's go ahead. Properties of exponent is like competition because they all fight for power. Okay, good. That was wrong. Oh, that, that was good, good right? Yeah. Three more. Three more. Three more. All right, Keith, let's read yours. Okay, so, uh, probably the exponents is like 
the competition because you want to be the first to answer. Okay, you want to be the first one to answer. So, you know, giving you a problem creates a little competition. What else? Connor, what you got? Uh, companies and experts are the competition because they compete for the answer. They compete for an answer. Good. One more. Let's see. You know, your group didn't get one? No. Come on. Good time to find one. Properties of exponents is like competition because. What do you got, Andrew? I might have one, but. They'll just say it. I'll just throw it out there. Properties of exponents is like competition. Both variables can get it to be can get it to be the same two times try to destroy each to destroy people. Okay, good, good. Um uniforms. <laughs> Properties of exponents is like uniforms because. I got you. All right, John. Don told us. Uh, no, 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 no. It's a group thing, right? Our group agreed on. Go ahead. We got no choice to agree. Properties of exponents are like uniforms because the properties stay the same. Okay. Properties are the same no matter what, right? Go ahead. Um, hey, start over. The properties of exponents is like. Uniforms because they all follow a common rule. Okay, good. What else? Two more. Two more. All right, ladies, let's hear one. Properties of exponents is like they all include an A. Okay. They all included an A. One more. Audra. Um, properties of exponents is like uniforms because there's a lot of them and they're all different. Okay. A lot of them and they're all different. Friendships. Last one and then we're going to move on. I want two good ones. Okay, if it's not a good one, I'm going to move on. John, are you sure you want to start? I hope so. Okay, let's hear it. Uh, properties of exponents are like friendships because they stay together or break apart like adding and subtracting. Good. Okay. Very good. Go ahead. Properties of exponents are like friendships because they help you through problems. Good. Okay. Gonna do one more. All right. One more. Properties of exponents. <laughs> like hey. Start over. Properties of exponents is like friendship because they have to be hand in hand with the base. Good. Okay. Good. 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 Which one was the easiest one to do? Friendships. Friendship thing. Friendships and teamwork. Really. Yeah. What was the hardest? Beautiful. Competition. Competition. Competition probably the hardest, right? Easy. Okay. Let's do some examples real quick, and then we'll come back and do another one of these. Yeah, all wrong. Okay, uh, let's start sharing some of these. Let's start with energize. So properties of exponents is like energize or being energized, but however you want to word that. Because why? What did somebody say? Don't be scared to share your answer. <laughs> okay, so the exponents make the answer bigger than what we had, right? So we're thinking energizes give you something more, and exponents also give you something more. Okay, what else did we have? <laughs> Do what? She said that properties of exponents were like energized because the ending answer was bigger than what you started with. What else? Oh, don't make me start thinking. <laughs> properties of exponents like energizing because every math problem you do energizes you to do the next. Okay. Good. What else? One more. <coughs> you got exactly what Madison, what did your group say? Uh, properties of exponents is like energizing because when you multiply, you gain more numbers. Okay, so when we multiply, we gain more numbers. Are you talking about this one or this one? <laughs> Both. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, good. 
properties of exponents is like relaxing because what? What do we put for relaxing? Okay, there's some simple math, right? We've got adding, we've got subtracting, we've got multiplying. That's simple math, right? Okay, what else? You can add without being stressed. Add without being stressed, yeah. Kind of, that's almost similar to what they were saying, right? Okay, good. Okay, so they specifically use this one. Anything to the zero power is one. That's kind of relaxing to know that you don't have to figure anything out. Properties of exponents is like stressless because... Good. When you get the answer, you're not stressed anymore. You've done it. You figured it out. Now you can move to the next one. What else? Because you have all the equations you need. You have all the stuff you need, right? There's nothing more than this stuff. It is all given for you, right? Good. Uh, let's do one more for stressless. Okay, we'll find two exponents. You just add them. Properties of exponents is like dreaming because okay. anything can happen. Anything can happen, right? I can put any numbers in here and I can get something different. Okay. He said properties of exponents is like dreaming because anything could happen. You can get any kind of answer. What else? The numbers are endless, right? The possibilities are endless, just like a dream. One more. Yeah, okay, so sometimes your dreams are constant. You have the same dream over and over. And we notice that the bases have to be the same in everything. The bases have to be the constant. Okay, good. All right, let me do some examples. Let's take sports. Now, let's make a list of what sports we enjoy. Boxing. Boxing. All right. There you go. Wait, should we do a new column for this? No, you don't have to write this down. We're, I just want you to do this. Oh, okay. I don't know, do you? What? Oh. Yep, this is immediately. Love Does yours say immediately? Yeah. All right, see you later. Volleyball. Volleyball? Soccer. Tennis. Tennis. Is there an E in volleyball? Yeah. yeah. Soccer. That's an E. That's an E. Mr. Burn will be mad. Uh, what? Basketball. Football. Tennis. Softball. Lacrosse. Gosh. All right, you're going too fast. Softball. Track. Lacrosse. Is that a sport? Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Water polo. Olympic <laughs> <laughs> sport. Yeah. yeah. You do? No. Water polo. Karate. Cross country. A I A. Dance. Jeez. Chess. Rock Chess. <laughs> Chess. <laughs> you have to click that button. Okay. Dance. Oh. Pick one. Now yours might not be up here. Water polo. Take one and write it down. Water polo. Water polo. That's yours? Yeah. Okay. Pick a sport.
Now remember, this is your favorite sport that you enjoy doing. Oh. <laughs> or watching, yeah, we can go with watching. <laughs> doing both. Doing your watching. You, it would kind of help knowing something about the sport. Like, I would not pick. I mean, why do you Polo, because I know nothing really about polo, other than you ride a horse and you It's like croquet or something. It's like croquet on a shirt. Yeah. Okay. Now, everybody should have something a little bit different, right? Yeah. How is property of exponents like what you wrote down, like your sport? That's a sentence you need to write. So, what did you pick? You didn't pick anything. You got to pick something. Riding horses. So how is property, properties, sorry, how is properties of exponents like riding horses or horseback riding? If you want to change it to one word, write down, Jason. Let's go. Helpful or not? Yes. Helpful. Yes. Very helpful. Yeah. Doing this? Yes. Relating it to this? Yes. Okay. Who said no? Why? Because it takes too long. It takes too long, okay. And it didn't really help me with the math part. Didn't help me with the math part. Why did some of you say it was helpful? Because... Do what? Yeah, it's relating, it's maybe something you enjoy, something yeah, like. Yeah, So like some people like... Does it give this a purpose? It does. <laughs> maybe? Does it makes it not so boring. Makes it not so boring, okay. I will try to do this every now and then, maybe, since it was helpful to some of you. Okay. Was it a different way of thinking? Yeah. yeah. Did it require you to think more than just routine math up here? That's me the, doing, you filling in. That's like a kind of boring situation. Okay. Okay. Good. Let's only change the. There's your one. Oh no 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 no! This is just to help build the connection with it. You still got to do the math. Let's talk about this stuff. What's the oh, cinetics? Cinetics, right? Cinetics is all about linking things together, making analogies with things. Um, was it beneficial or no? no. Yes. Oh. I thought, I thought How many people say, yeah, it was kind of all right? I thought, I thought I had the best one. Okay. How many people say, no, because it was different and I don't like different? Well, that's not why I say no. Okay. Who says no? And why do you say no? Because I don't well, like it, 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 it didn't teach me anything very good. Okay, it didn't teach you anything? Because, no. Okay, why else did somebody say no? I say yes. What was it supposed to help us do? Boom. It was supposed to help you make a personal connection with the properties of exponents. That's what I did. No, 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 no. It wasn't to help you memorize the formulas. It was just to help you make a connection with the properties. Not memorize it. What? How come you did that? I, I don't know. You asked me, did I like it or not? I said no. Why? I, Give me your reason why you didn't like it. Honestly, I couldn't. Even, I can't even remember what you said. Not uh, rule here. Probably because it didn't make any sense. Are you kidding me? Yes, it did. Baseball. To me, right? Wow. To me. Properties of exponents is like baseball because it's a game of failure. Why is baseball a game of failure? It's Do you fail all the time in baseball? Basically. Seventy percent of the time. Seventy. Yeah. I didn't know. I hate baseball, so I wouldn't know, right? That's why it's your personal connection and not mine, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're working on your own work. You've got some time. Yeah.